the world's greatest blogger and vlogger ever. That's the title I'm gonna claim for myself. Julie, what do you think? You think your mom can do it? Yeah. Because I have the greatest news for you guys that we can walk through life like this with God, intimately with Him, listening to His guidance, His advice, His getting His love, getting His strength, no matter the challenges that come our way, guys. I think that's the greatest news ever. Julie, what do you think? Isn't that the greatest news ever? Yeah. Yeah. So yesterday, no shame in my game. I was feeling all hurt again and frustrated and angry. And let me tell you what I did. I pulled over somewhere, I parked my car, and I said, God, what do you have to say to me? And he took me to my book that I wrote, this post years ago, and talked about just walking through life humbly with God. It was a guy that I saw leaving a store one day and I saw his kindness and I just had a little conversation outside the store with him. And he said, that's our goal in life, to just walk humbly with God. Stop judging each other. You know, we're just to love them. And that was the message for a crazy lady over here. And the, the, the message from the book said, can you imagine getting to a place where you do not feel anger, insulted, or offended, or annoyed by anyone for what you believe is unfair treatment by them and having such feelings only against yourself? I say, wow, what a wonderful light would that be. But is that humanly possible? I said, well, God is truly trying to get me there, and I challenge you. We're to love others, to stop judging them. Everybody is on their own path. We must be professional ignorers. Otherwise, we will go through life always offended, insulted, and frustrated when others disappoint us. We have to shake off the hurts and disappointments and immediately keep walking humbly with God, extending grace, partnering with that punishment, forgiving endlessly, becoming better instead of bitter, and loving extravagantly. Is that unbelievable? That I say, God, what is going on with me here? I'm feeling all hurt and angry again. And he's saying, just go to the last post in your book. And there was my answer, guys. I'm gonna just keep walking humbly with God. When I go to my tree every morning, those 47 trees, I give God a high five, and I say, God, we're together. So guess what, guys? I'm gonna go through life enjoying God. The disappointment and hurt, guess what? I'm gonna let them bounce off, hand them off to God and say, God, you deal with this. This is not for me. I'm gonna just show up as my happy self, joyful self, peaceful self, going to extra smile self, loving self, that God is my audience at every moment, that he is with me. And God, I just said this prayer at the end of that post today, that God is my honor to have you in my life. And may all my actions be pleasing to you. And that's where I want all of us guys. Give God the front row seat of your life. And let's just do everything honoring him, pleasing him. We need assistance from him, going to him in every moment and accepting all of his love. So when others disappoint us, no problem. We could say, no problem. <laughs> that's on you. Whatever you do is on you. That's between you and God. But whatever we do is between us and God. And let me tell you, once you do that, give God everything. He gives you more than you could ever ask or imagine from him.